Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can set up Focal Board to kind of do your project management similar to like Trello or like Jira. Um, it's just kind of like you can create tickets and then use it in board to kind of, you know, put not started, started in progress, completed and things like that to kind of manage your project and figure out, hey, are you actually done? Or if you just need to kind of manage the team and make sure everyone has the work that they need to get done and kind of coordinate timing, it, it's useful for that too. So. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content or want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So, all right, let's get started, guys. All right, so what we'll do here um, is we will open up a command prompt and we will log into our server that we have created here. Give me, so give me one second. Yes. Okay, so... Um, the first thing that we'll do is install Docker. Um, so uh, we'll uh, add the Docker repo here um, to install. So download docker.com slash Linux slash CentOS slash Docker CE dot repo. Um, and then we'll do a yumy install Docker CE. Um, so this will install the Docker community edition here. While that installs, we'll go back to our GitLab and we'll actually update our DNS here. Um, to include this new DNS entry. So we'll make sure we update our serial number and then we will add a focal board in here in a and let's see, 168, 1.6, uh, 1.16, uh, 1.60, add a focal board and commit that. And that should run through our pipelines and be good. Then we can look up focal board Docker. Um, so there's a Docker image um, here, actually by Mattermost. Um, we also set it up, set up a Mattermost server previously. So if you're interested about that, feel free to check that out too. It's actually a lot of fun, um, and we did some things. But we will actually go to their personal server Docker. Um, so for the most part, it's just a Docker command here. Nothing too fancy um, to get it set up personally. So. Um, we can still see that this is still installed, so no worries. So now Docker's installed, so we'll do system enable Docker and system start, start Docker. Um, then what we'll do here is actually run this command. So essentially it will create a Docker instance using the Mattermost focal board um, image and it will list it on 80 and forward that to 8000 to the Docker container. Um, so we'll paste that and then we'll add a hyphen D for detach. So it runs in the background. It will then pull the image here. And now we can do a Docker PS and we can see that it is open on 80 and running. So let's go HTTP focal board dot drag not local. And we can see that there is a login here. So now we can create an account since we don't have one. Um, we'll create a dragon.local, dragon, and add a password. So we'll register for that. And now you can see that you essentially have focal board. Um, and you can do a lot of things here. So we'll just do like a project task, for example. So we'll use this template. So you can see how it, it really looks like a you know, like a agile sprint board, honestly, um, at the end of the day, where you can, you know, move tasks to and from completed um, tracking. Um, you can create a new one and you can, you know, set priorities, set assignees for whoever's in there, estimated time um, and hours, due, due dates, who's created by. You can add other properties too. Um, and you can see it's in here. Oh, I didn't title this title. Um, and it's like creating like Jira tickets or, or other things. And you can just move, drag and drop and, you know, get everyone squared away. Um, and, you know, define projects, define um, dependencies, do whatever you want. And, you know, just get your project started. So that's essentially how you install Focal Board and use it a little bit. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.